Hey! 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 Oh. Hello! Yeah! Ah, <laughs> what are you posting images of Ash for? Ash. Ah. Uh. Step on me. Oh, God. Bob! Step <laughs> on me! <laughs> oh, God. Overwatch's 22nd hero is a stand user. Is a stand user? Yeah. <laughs> I summon my stand, Bob. <sighs> oh, God. We'll see. We'll see, I guess. Oh, Oh god, what is... Oh, I was stepping on a bottle. Hello! Uh -huh. Welcome back to another exciting episode of The Wonders Within. Whoa. Yeah! Featuring the Bill Bottom Slap Boys. I prefer oh, yeah, the Soggy brother. Bottom Boys. The Soggy Bottom Boys. Yeah. Oh god. Feels good, man. Uh well, let's try to start off right where we left off. Uh, I believe you guys are answering riddles. Uh, oh, yeah. Trying, yeah. To, trying to defeat this this icy tower, and I believe... Women. <laughs> the last one was woman. All right, and I believe we are on the... Yep, we are on the last part of the tower, and specifically, you answered two here? I think so. So we should be on the last one. Ooh. You know what time it is. <laughs> it's riddle time. It's riddle time. All right, which one do I want to hit you guys with? Uh, oh, fuck. I forgot all about the music. Hold on. Let me give you guys some of that sweet ambience. Give it to me. Uh... I gotta work that into my, like, routine of prep. It's getting all this music ready. There you go. Have a desert cave. Well, this is snowy cave. Well, that one's still gonna be used for the rest of it. And this is for the place you currently are. And the other thing hasn't been revealed yet. Hooray! All right. Let's get straight to it. Enemy AC-130 inbound. Oh, I gotta... I gotta silence my uh, notifications so I don't have Shore 4 yelling in my ear. Also, go Canada. All right. Let's do it! All right, so we have one final... Uh, we have one final stone barrier, and upon it is written the last of the riddles of this part of the tower. Give me that fat riddle. Specifically, it is written the same, but we already went over what it's written in. Okay, you guys can read it. So here we go. I'm going to copy pasta it and then read it out loud. <clears throat> the load bearer, the warrior. The frightened one, the brave, the fleet of foot, the iron shod, the faithful one, the slave. What am I? I'm thinking horse. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking horse. Except it bears loads. There's war horses. Horses get spooked. Horses are brave, I guess. Horses are fast. Iron shod. Faithful. Mm -hmm. But they're also used for, like, uh, labor. Like yeah. slaves. Is that your answer, then? Horse! Horse! We shall. The tablet shatters. I forget if that's Yeehaw. a good thing. That's, that, that's the good thing. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now the tablet like... shatters. Oh, wait, what, what? Oh, the little oh, tower. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Not My a... mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> a giant mother appears. All right. Incredibly oh. disappointed. Oh god, she has a disappointing gaze attack. All right. She's holding a slipper. No. Uh -huh. Oh god. Chakla. Chakla. You have successfully answered the riddle correctly, and the final of the stone tablets has shattered. The swirling cold begins to die down, and the gate is revealed once more, the stairs leading down. It seems that you have conquered the challenges of this tower. Nice. Right Dark. on. Easy. Let us venture downward. All right, let me move you guys down then. All right, as you get to the bottom of this part of the tower, you can see that each of the towers are now sealed, and there is a pleasant thrumming of magic. In the center of the room, the once fountain has now more or less transformed itself into a resting portal, and through the water on the other side, there is a shimmering wall that you can see another part of the complex. A portal has been opened as the towers have been restored, and the original function of the fountain has been recalibrated and made available to you. Awesome. Right on. Um, well, we didn't do all the towers, did we? You did not. So, no. why, is, so why is this here? Maybe if it's we trick. keep doing them, it'll uh, unlock some more. That's what I was thinking. Could also be just we only needed to do like three of them. So that the the big vines on the ground, right? Those are gone for the ones we did, right? Or no? They're gone for all of them now. Oh. Yeah. Maybe it was a best three out of five situation. That's exactly what it was. Ah. Uh, so <laughs> like, if we failed one, yeah. like we would have a chance. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. That makes sense. We're too good. All right. Well, is there still water left in the uh, in the fountain? Uh, there is, except now that it's kind of a shimmering circular portal. It's kind of like a floating waterfall. It's shifting and, uh, and shimmering, and you see on the other side of it. It's basically the medium for which the portal is uh, manifested. Well, I take a large, crispy, ice cold gulp. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, okay. Right, well, shiny, jump in. Uh, you won't. He did. He, did. he, he already did. Oh. 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 Okay. So after you take a big slurp of uh, of the portal water, which thankfully doesn't do anything to you, I was ready for that. You didn't catch me off guard this time. <laughs> I'm gonna drink the portal water, Arcanum. Ha <laughs> ha! Good. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. You have died. <laughs> you have died. Your limbs teleport. Alright. In that case, as you walk through to the other side of the portal, the shimmering wetness dries quickly, and you are standing in a stone hallway of elaborate and pristine design. It is immaculately clean, and you can also see that there is engravings on the walls and ceiling, depicting that of arcane natures. Wow. <clears throat> and I got some setup music here. Okay. I'm gonna grab a water beer back. Alrighty. Ice. Ice. 
I hate the titles of these, but they have really good music in them for what I need to do. I just hate how they're titled. <laughs> they're just like... Ugh. They're very good compilations. Lo-fi hip-hop beats to study slash relax to... Kingdom Hearts OST. <laughs> hey. 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 Alright. Where are we? Alright. You see up ahead that the elaborate designs widen into a greater antechamber where there are several pillars of also ornate design uh, set up in rows of two. And you can also see that there are statues. You can move forward and investigate them if you wish. Shiny, move forward. Forward, I look at the statues. Hold on, Shiny, your voice is really good. You're so far away, dude. What? Hello? Are you using the right mic? Yeah, what? Now you sound fun. I just had to turn up the gain. Gain. What did you gain? All right. <clears throat> As you move into this next room, you can see that these statues depict ancient wizards of elven design. Their clothing and their adornments speak to the scarab lords of past. And indeed, the strange thing about them is that these are elven, but the next are not. Uh, be careful walking. Might be a... Can I make a... What's it called? Arcana check on that statue? You can. I'll do that. With your Arcana check, it seems that this is a more or less a reliquary of casters of great renown that have either known whoever built this place or have made their presences known. The fact that there are scarab lords here means that this particular structure, and indeed the city of Aesmir, are at least of the Third Era, if perhaps not even older than that. Neat. I think we're safe enough to walk through. Okay. I mean, I'm going to... Yeah, go ahead. Now, these two statues are not of elven design. They appear to be more unlike the Taladani that you have been studying, Dirk. Specifically, each of their robes, although made of stone, are, innate, are, <clears throat> are engraved very intricately with different schools of magic. This one, Transmutation, and this one of Abjuration. Um, oh, there. I'm in. Mainframe acquired. Neat. Tom and Donnie Wizards. walk forward to these two statues now. Alright, these two statues depict two others of a curious nature. The one on the left appears to be a statue of a gnomish wizard. And he is embroidered with the symbols of illusion. And the statue on the right is perhaps the most distinguished. For you see... Something you did not expect. Make me a religion check. Oh. Everyone can do that. That'll work. All right, Clyde. You recognize the presence of two deities. For what you see in front of you is another gnomish wizard. Sorry, a what? A gnomish wizard. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What? What? That was just a weird reaction. Nothing. 
Is there a meme I'm missing? Okay. Anyway. Let, you don't want to know. This ain't no potion. You're so. pure, Arcadum. You're pure. It's safe. All right. You find another gnomish wizard. However, there's a couple of things very distinct. First of all, uh, it is a female gnomish wizard that the symbol that she wears on her robes is that of Rune Theris. And the symbology depicts that she is a chosen of Rune Theris. But you recognize her for who she is, Clyde, as you have seen her face in religious texts of another, the patron goddess of the gnomes and the guardian of time, Raquel. Raquel, the guardian of time. Holy shit. Wow, a gnome god. I don't. This... Can we do anything with, with with this knowledge? No. Who cares about gnomes? Little things that just annoy their squeaky voices. I hate getting gnome. What are the two first statues? We should go check. Make a history check. Yeah! That's pretty good. The first on the right is the Scarab Lord known as the Heretic. And the one on the left is the Scarab Lord, known as the Aphotic One. Aphotic. Hey, uh, Dirk, do you know what Aphotic means? Uh... I actually don't. Um, you got a dictionary like magical pouch? Do you have an English dictionary? <laughs> Why would he? Oh, wait. I lost all of my shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing Even here. if I did, I wouldn't anymore. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth a shot. <laughs> Aphotic means without light. Or in depth. Yeah. Uh, specifically, in our own world, the aphotic zone is an area of the uh, of the ocean in which light cannot touch. What it means in this particular world setting is the aphotic one is uh, is a reference to another realm, another plane of existence. Well, like. The realm of darkness or something? Perhaps. Perhaps not. What if we don't see darkness? What if it's just nothing at all? And we just call it darkness? Oh god. Yeah. Up your brain. Whoa. I can't. I'm just gonna eat my chicken nuggets. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. All right, we're done here. Tom Wizard! Well, <coughs> well, wait. Let's just wait. remember the order of these uh, statues, I guess, just in case. Somebody make a quick mental note. And by that, I mean take a screenshot. Oh. <laughs> Dory, I have this magical spell called Snapchat. I'll just use that. Thanks. Wow. All right, cool. I have made a mental note. Let us push forward. Gentlemen, please. Technically, I can't be angry that you're doing that because you're still taking notes, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't I don't like how like cavalier you are about it. <laughs> <laughs> like you do exactly what I was expecting you to think. Okay, uh, I, 
Is there a door in front of me in this little thing, or is it just an archway? This is a door. Okay. Okay, so this door is made of stone, and the same inlaid marble as the rest of the area is. There is something very curious. The front of the door is locked by three arcane runes, and they will need to be unlocked in order for the door to be opened. Okay. Um, I examine the door. Can I see the arcane runes clearly? Mm-hmm. An arcana check to reveal more. Back up. Let me do it. Did somebody need a brain? Did someone say brain check? Boom. Alright. The runes seem to match the same designs on each of the statue on the plaques in front of them. However, there are only three. And you get the feeling that you must channel arcane magic through the appropriate statues in the appropriate order. Mm. And the only clue that you have is the following. What is, what is not, and what is believed. What is, not, what's the... Okay, one of them's gotta be illusion. Well, that'd be what is not, if anything. No, what is to be believed, right? Yeah. What is not would or probably that, be the I one guess. where the light can't touch. But what is? What's abjuration? Abjuration's like the creation of things, isn't it? So... No, no, that's conjuration. That's conjuration. Yeah. Abjuration. Abjuration is different. Let me just unlock my big brain. To tell you guys what abjuration is. It's huge. I gotta go through like a lot of stuff in my brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you brain faster, please? <laughs> you can only go through it so fast. Because I have a big brain. <laughs> okay, it's huge. It's it's huge. It's really big. Drek. Okay, it's basically protection magic. Oh, okay, you figured it out. That's cool, I thought. Okay, so it's oh, probably not yes. that. Uh... I'm thinking... Well, you know what is? I think it's time. Yeah, time is. <laughs> Whoa. Time is. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> time is... <laughs> That's deep. I'm <laughs> wizard. I mean, that is, yeah, I guess. that is hilarious. That makes sense. Hopefully, we don't only have one shot at this. <laughs> so we got to channel arcane magic through these. Can you just like jazz hands these statues, Dirk? Yeah, I'll <laughs> jazz hand. Which one do you want? So what illusion. is? So probably whatever the time one was, right? Requiem. All right, I, chan I channel some magic into Requiem. All right. As you do so, the magic flows into the statue, and it begins to crack. Well, harder, uh, more, more. You want more? Man? I don't I mean, know. The, I the don't tablet's know. broke. There's a theme of breaking shit. 
Well, Mary, if we do all of them, they're all break at once. You know, yeah, let's like try that. that. So what is, what is not. So the, was it the aphotic one? Is that what the word was? Aphotic is like... What did, what did the heretic stand for? The heretic is one of the scarab lords. Oh, okay. And it is called the heretic because, well, you don't know for sure, but you know what, you know what a heretic is, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Heretic. Less. Is not. I'm gonna guess like transmutation, because it's not what it actually is. Turn into something else. So you probably want to channel magic into the aphotic one. All right. Making sure we're going for for is not. Alright. I channel magic into the aphotic one. Alright. It begins to crack. And then what is believed? So illusion. illusion? Might be illusion, yeah. Give it a Blood shot. That. A channel magic into illusion, a statue. Alright. Channel the magic into the illusion, a statue. And then, the magic is shot out. Raquel and the aphotic one shatter, turning to dust. Oh. The illusion one remains, and the magic leaves it. Dusted. I inspect the dusted statue. Within the statue, you can see that there is a remnant of what at one time may have been precious magical items. Now oh. turned to dust. Ooh. Oof. Now that's epic. Well! Anybody else want to give it a shot? I think transmutation for like is not. It's, it's fate, you know. Transform it into something else. It's not what it actually is. Um. I think the illusion mm -hmm. one might be part of it because it didn't shatter completely. I just think that was the wrong one, so it shattered the other. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a drink. Two Can seconds. Still... Hmm. What is, is not what is believed. I think what is believed might be the heretic. Would the is be transmutation then? Maybe. So transmutation... Illusion? Heretic? That might be it. Let's hope that's it. Let's hope. But we must wait for Dad to get back. Back from the, the liquor store. Getting singies. Beatball hands. Is he gonna come back? I'm back. Hi.
I think we're ready to try another uh, combination. Alrighty. Go ahead, Dirk. Dirk? Dirk? You I'm sorry, was that? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, yeah, I'm going transportation. Just to be sure. All right. As you flesh your hand against transmutation and uh, <clears throat> infuse it with arcane energy, the statue will shift to a position of strength, and the magic is held. Oh. Oh. Next. Try illusion again, yeah. Yeah. Do the same to illusion. The illusion statue shifts to a position of strength. And the magic is held within. Heretic. Actually, what if it's abjuration? What? Because Requail Re and Fodic Wall, they're names. But the other, like, illusion, transmutation, and abjuration are all types of magic. So it's what is believed. But... Abjuration is about protection magic, right? Yeah. What about that is believed? You believe you're protected. <laughs> <laughs> I still think it's heretic. Uh Yeah, it might be heretic. I believe it is, so I'm going with. You're I the magic it. man. Yeah. I, uh. Yeah, infuse some heretic. As you infuse your magic within the heretic, it turns to a position of power. And the statue contains the arcane strength. As this happens, the abjuration statue turns to dust. And there lies a shield. Oh. And the door oh. opens. Go check it out. Can I can I inspect the shield? The shield is made out of Taladani stone and inlaid with gold and platinum. Oh shit. Ooh. Hello. Hey dirt, is it magic? I don't know, let me Yes, it is <laughs> magical. <laughs> it is magical. <clears throat> it is very magical. That's tight as fuck. Magic. Well, I need a replacement shield, so... Did this door open? Yeah, it did. Yes, it did. All right, <clears throat> this shield... Uh, this shield is known as... Here, I'm just going to type it out. It'll just be easier. Lastraza's Bulwark. Plus one enchant enhancement shield. There you go. Oh. Clap. Wait, that's Pog. Yoink. Alright, as you peek through to the other side, you see a library and a swirling door filled with magic. It seems to depict some kind of portal. You also see a door here, and a door here. Hmm. Are they open? They are not. Hmm. I peruse the bookcase. 
All right, the books oh. here are written in a language you do not understand. However, there is something very interesting. It seems that each of the books have a small area at the front of them that is written in common. If you cannot read this, you must seek the Keeper. All right. That's what it Looks says. Looks like we gotta seek the Keeper. Seek. I'm gonna check out this portal. In due time. You see that this portal is shield. Of my feelings. Shield? Uh, it's sealed, as in this oh. door is sealed with magic. I'm gonna make a check on it. Okay. Whatever magic is holding this door shut is powerful, beyond your ability to deal with. You will need to either find a key, a passcode, or you'll have to find the person who made it in order to remove it. Well, I'm gonna is... start checking the bookshelves for like switches or like trick books, keys. Look around. We gotta get through this. All right, everyone, make me an investigation check. Look for a key or any path code word. As you search the room, you do not find any hidden switches, keys, or anything of that nature. All that you find is that each of the books have the same thing at the front, written in common. Seek the Keeper. Who is the Keeper? Or what? So are these books organized, like, alphabetical? Have we noticed that at all? Not really. What's on this desk over here? Uh, book <clears throat> more books, and you also see some scrolls and some writing utensils. I knock on the door. <laughs> is there a doorbell? There is not. And your knock is ineffective. Mm. You knock on the door. Shaka. It explodes. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> uh, I look at uh, the books. Like, on the bindings, do I read out the titles? Anything peculiar to catch my eye? You cannot read the titles. Oh, they said it's in common. No, there's a place in front of the book, like in the first pages, that say, if you cannot read this, seek the keeper. Uh, I'm going to check the dusted pile of Raquel's statue again. And these side doors won't open? I didn't say that. You can open them if you wish. I like to open the left door. In Raquel's dust, you find dust. Just big piles of dust. Still dust. Eat. All right, as you open this side, you can see that somebody needs to clean up around here as there's a gigantic pile of of, of worn books kind of just thrown in the middle of the room. Yuck. And there's a bunch more books in here. Disappointing. Can, can I clean up? You want to clean up? Maybe there's shit under the pile. Okay, so you... Maybe, maybe like a dude. Maybe that's the keeper. He's under a pile of books. All right, so... Uh, Woku uses his cleaning power. <laughs> yeah! The wow. room is now immaculate. <laughs> You're welcome. Wow. It's a little dusty over here. Can you dust off these books on this side, Woku? Can I investigation check again to look for keys and Woku switches and stuff? You sure can. Outfit. I have a stroke instead. <laughs> Did we get a bonus because Woku made it so clean in here? No. No. Also, Woku is difficult to see, for he is covered in dust. <laughs> a room could only be cleaned by him taking it in on himself. But now he doesn't need clothes. So that's good. I As you need clothes. <clears throat> you do not find any switches or other clues here. Well, let's go check the other room. Yeah. All right. As you open this room, you probably don't just go waltzing in because you see something in here. 
That well. might prevent waltzing. <laughs> you see this. Uh. Uh. You see a strange being wrapped up in robes. A desiccated corpse floating just above the bookshelves. Uh. It whispers to itself in an unknown tongue. Asquis en inon is an enegatet us nenen un anegtet anetostunant. Monka. It does not seem to notice you. Should we kill So him? messy. What? Why don't we try asking it if it's the keeper? I think we should kill it. Hold on. Okay, ask it then. Just ask it. All right, I'm gonna ask it in common. Are you the keeper? <laughs> the creature stops whispering to itself. I was many years ago. Who speaks? I cannot see you. Uh, just, just some dude. <laughs> Found my uh, way in. Solved some, some riddles. Some dude. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, some dude. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's not my name. My name's Woku. Uh, these are my free, uh, uh, compatrons. Partners in crime. Uh. Ah, you are criminals. <laughs> yes. Kind of. Kind of. Unfortunate. We are not criminals, no. They are joking. Trying to liven up the situation for ourselves and our party morale. The creature looks confused. <laughs> Hello, some dude, Woku. How can this keeper be of assistance? Uh... The bookshelves told us to seek the keeper. So oh, you cannot seek... read. Unfortunate. Yeah, kind of sucks. What language are these books in? They are written in the old Eldar bestowed to the Taladani, to my people. Wait. Ah, so you're a Taladani. Or were? I was many years ago. Whoa. Drek? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Marie. Uh, you want to have a chat with this dude for a bit? Uh, <laughs> all right. My, uh, my friend Dirk here would, uh, would like to have a conversation with you. In the meantime, do you mind if I clean up? You, you kind of left a... I know you can't see, but you kind of left a mess. There's a lot of books everywhere. The creature looks concerned and begins to to reach out and try to find the books. Uh, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> do, you, do you clean up, Woku? Yes, I would like to clean up for the ghost man. All right, that's going to take you some time. Drek. Um, shall we call you the Keeper, then? That is a name as useful as any. All right. Keeper. How... What have you been doing all this time? Don't you know the city's in ruins now? <gasps> is it? I did not know. I have been bound here for so long. Guarding the knowledge. Keeping it safe. Preparing the Aiden. Oh! You know where the Aiden is? Yes. It lies above us. 
at the highest point of the spire. How do we get there from here? Alas, the way ahead is contorted and wild. Terrible magic. The Aiden, its vessel, was not sufficient to contain its might, and it has torn apart the way ahead. To venture there now would be to gamble with death. Well, we have to go there in order to stop the aid and fix this situation. You wish to stop the Aiden? Yes. We were sent here by... What was that guy's name? Uh, the guy who... Like, teleports us over. <laughs> I'm, asking, I'm asking the other party members. Uh, yeah, nice save. Yeah. Yeah. No one knows. You guys forgot to. Sorry, I've been in a coma for the last couple of weeks. Sorry, Walku was too distracted cleaning bucks. What did you say? Remember the guy who can teleport us around? We're trying to help. Yeah, sorry, you remember his a... name? No, no, he's your friend. Oh, my friend. There you go. Or you hurt yourself. I think, I think his name was Delane. Okay. I knew it started with a D. It's uh, De Delani Delacoy. That's his name. Okay. We were sent to stop the alien by Delani Delacoy. Do you... Uh, Council Master Delacoy. The traitor of the circle. Long has my service warped my mind. I do not recall what I am to do with those that serve him. Alas, I cannot even remember the words to show you the tongue of the Eldar. Nor can I read the very books that I protect. You've been here so long. Is there anything we can do for you? If you could find my eyes, I would be free. It's a good thing I was cleaning up. Do you do you remember when you la where you last left your eyes? <laughs> My eyes are not the eyes you think. No. My eyes are of gem and stone. Hmm. Uh Oh, we have those. Yeah. yeah. You do? I think Inuchio oh, yeah. has them. We have some gems, perhaps. Yeah. Is what you're talking about. The, the, snake, the snake eye thing, right? I whip them out. Granta's eyes! I, uh, I give them to Drift. Alright. Are these the eyes? Oh. <laughs> you can't see something. I guess <laughs> I I'll hand him uh, the snake eyes, whatever they're called. Are these what your my eyes? My eyes. My eyes. Oh, my eyes. Uh oh. Uh. I, as he places them in his sockets, can see. 
Can you see how clean I made your library? Look what a good job I did. <laughs> you have my thanks, interlopers. He'll shift down onto the ground. With my eyes, I can see, and I am bound no longer. I do not know the words to give you the tongue of the Eldar, but I can read the texts. I will provide what aid that I can, but I will not remain for long. Choose carefully the words I am to read. Oh. So we can... Hmm. I'll ask him. There's a lot of books in there. There's yeah. a lot of knowledge in here! And also, all of the Taladani artifacts that you've been collecting. Our artifacts? Yep. Mm-hmm. We got lots of those. You remember your wand, right? Including yeah. the wand you're using, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, I can ask him about it? Yeah, because it has Taladani writing on it. Oh. All right. I'll ask him about my... Let's read what it says. It says on my wand of all time. Is your magic missile wand? Yeah. Uh, okay. Can you, uh, can you send me its name real quick so I can look it up okay. easier? That's what it's called. Ah, Voltanus. Okay. All right. The being reads the words from the side of the wand. Alnes Alken Van Enacht. And as he does, the magic throughout the wand begins to morph and change, and then he will translate it. Through my fist, may my enemies be broken. And your wand transforms into a staff. Pog! Holy shit. You're gonna need a bigger scope. Actually. Get that six times. I await Arcanum as he taps away my staff. Big flex times ahead. Give me it. Oh yeah. So many times. Oh, yeah. Almost done. Oh, big typing. Staff gun. My staff is going to be the top, the top percentile of all staff. I'm going to paint it red. What are you going to name it? What's its nickname going to be? <laughs> Big Raw. <laughs> <laughs> The Fist of Altanus. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is 
That special ability. Damn. Holy shit. Uh Nice. Oh, here. I got a show chat. Hold on. I got to put this in my character sheet. All right. The keeper recoils and rests and awaits for you to produce another uh, another item for him to read. My Anyone bow isn't have... Taladani, is it? It is not. Astrana? Astrana is not a Taladani artifact. I figured it was. What about the shield we just got? Yeah, yeah the shield sure is. Taladani. The shield is. Okay, it's it correct. is definitely his. Give it to him. Yeah. The shield. All right, you offer him the shield? Yeah. Okay. Who is wielding the shield? I am. Okay. Woku. Woku. Shield boy. It is time to become shielded, my dudes. All right. Lestraza's bulwark transforms into this item as he speaks the word. Lestraze van or ek anefen sit on el darekast. All right, Woku, the shield transforms into an illustrious tattoo of Taladani make that etches itself upon your flesh. What? That's fucking badass. That's tight. It's a bash. Cool. Instead of getting so knocked the fuck out. So your arm just straight up turns into a shield now. Yeah. Oh, I uh, actually p forgot to put the three times per long rest. Uh, that's supposed to be three times per long rest, not permanent advantage. part's really good too yeah yeah instead of gonna knock the fuck out i just eat it
just tank it now. I think that's all we have. Obviously, that's a plus one enhancement, not a plus exclamation point. <laughs> All right. right on. What about the what about the door? Yeah. <clears throat> do you ask how him about the door? the door? Yeah. How do we open the door? I can open the door. Can you open it for us? <laughs> the door is open. Awesome. Sweet. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. you can read. <laughs> Hold on. You can read a book, right? You get the feeling that he will only perform his reading twice more. All right. Uh, All right, find a fancy fucking book. <laughs> I could just ask him for one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Recommendations. Um, Keeper. Are there any books in here that may grant me a spell? If you were to translate it. None that you could wield. Oh, snap. Calling me a small brain. Negative. Shit. I am referring to the fact that your body cannot simply contain that much power. No. Oh. That's fair. Maybe in the next life, eh? However. Hmm. Do you possess any allegiance? Allegiance? Yeah. Meaning, is there any of the factions that you are allied with? I don't think we got any factions. We just went in here. When we you... did the thing, right? Basically, what I'm hinting at is that there is a faction upgrade for one of the factions of Aram. Oh. But you get to choose which one. All right. Uh, what factions are there? Uh, hold on. The big content flex. Big. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Weird flex. flex. Okay, streamer. <laughs> I like my content. Oh gosh! Here, here you go. It's nice and categorized too. Ooh! Oh look, so there's an easy choice for you. Magic. <laughs> if I recall, I believe that Dirk is also a Daltonian. Yeah, I was looking at the cover. Before all this, not really part of their faction, though. You don't have to choose that either. You can also say that you're not affiliated, but it is an option. I just wanted you to make sure you knew what the potential choice is. I do like that Inquisitions. I'll just say I'm not affiliated though. I can, you know, All favor right. anyone. Unless you guys want to do it. I say to my team. Any of you affiliated with a faction? Not really. All right. If that's the case, then so be it. The keeper will move forward. Hmm. In that case, perhaps something of history. There are many secrets in the world, many hidden places. 
Shall I show you them? Show us. Show us. All right. So I have uh, three potential secrets Ow. that I am willing to uh, release at this time. Uh, the first is... Uh, a secret of the Rift, which is a place in Verum where magic is wild and shit is fucked. Um, a second one I can offer is a secret of the library of Kasayo, which is an ancient library of Elven make. And then the third that I am willing to offer is... Let's go with... Yeah. Let's go with that. And the other one that can be offered is... Knowledge of a secret of an... <clears throat> basically, of a hidden, sunken ship. Which, within it, contains untold wealth and knowledge. Specifically, it is the last known vessel to be captained by the legendary pirate king, Red Eyes Raymond. Sweet. So. Which of these three would you like to know? I'm looking at pirate ship. That yeah, sounds same. fun. Pirate. Yeah, let's go with the pirate ship. In that case, a tome is translated and morphed and shifted into knowledge. And it is placed within your minds. And as it is placed within your minds, therefore it is also considered to be released for the living world. Specifically, that uh, you guys can have a direct hand in that, which we'll go over later. It's pretty good. All right. Sweet. There is one final reading that the Keeper can give you. What would you like to do? I think we should try to get another uh, upgrade for either myself or Shiny. Do you have any Taladani artifacts? I mean, do you have any Shiny? No, uh, the only thing you have is the shield. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't think I have anything either. So we might just have to go with another reading. Uh, the Mace of Lords wasn't a Taladoni artifact, was it? Smile. <laughs> uh, try it. It's worth a shot. <laughs> yes, it was. All right. Aha! All right. Go, ba, da, ba. go ahead and link me your item real quick. I have to see oh, what's... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Surely it's on your character sheet. Yeah. I have to see which version of it you have. Let me open up the old obsidian portal. Oh, you didn't have your sheet open. Not good. I I opened tiss, it. Tiss. Judge, 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 judge. Nice. Okay. Let's go. All right. Now I have to go see which version of it. Oh fuck! Did I track that? I hope I did. Uh, you have last hit. Thirty-two uh, enemies. Yeah. Okay. That sounds right. Yeah.
Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> I'm going to give you this version of it. Because you'll actually use it. One moment, please. Oh, who we lose? Whoops. What? Yeah. Overall, accidentally misclicked on a Discord channel. Yeah. I'll no. do it. I do it ten times a week, brother. Don't click it. Okay. He will take the Mace of Lords and he will begin to read it. And as he does so, sign enict ul et asect. Pit anot i yarkenai. Behold, your weapon transforms. From the mace of lords to the law of a sect. I am the law. Now that is epic. Heels. That was damn good. Life steal. Yeah. Oh my god. Craigasm. Whoa. As it has performed its last speak, or excuse me, its last reading. The creature will give another nod of thanks. Thank you for all of your help. I may now finally be at rest. And the keeper recedes to whatever awaits him beyond the veil of our world. Bye bye. It's nice meeting you. So long, cowboy. All right, now what? Let's go check out that door. Yeah. As you approach the door with the magical seal that has been removed, you press it open, and on the other side, you see an even larger library. <laughs> And there, you could see a doorway atop, or rather, a, a affixed atop a large statue of another wizard. This one's features are more generalized, and you get the sense that it doesn't depict a particular personage, but rather simply a representation of the highest form of learning, the Archon. Sick. Awesome. I have to pee really bad. One sec. <laughs> Go forth and urinate. All over the toilet. Wait. Waiting. Gross. <laughs> How's your tattoo, Woku? fucking radical did it hurt when you wear the shield and the tattoos pop up I don't know kind of, <laughs> kind of just there feels like my arm radical did it hurt when you fell Greetings. from heaven Ooh. Get this bread. oh woku. that was quick <laughs> 
I'm the fastest <laughs> piss in the West. Shit. You do it in a cup or something? He uh, he said he says these guys I got in the bathroom. He just mutes and just pees in his chair like he's got like a fucking. <laughs> he's just got a bucket and he's just like <laughs> muted because he's like I don't want him to hear it. It's like okay, guys, we've oh. done. <laughs> I, could, I could take three large steps and be at my toilet from my desk. Wow. Man. All right then. I also don't wash my hands. Oof. All right. That's dangerous. <laughs> the, the way ahead is unlocked. Shiny, go first. Okay. Go first. Awoku. I walk forward with my big shield arm or something. As you enter the larger library, you can see that this shit is about to get super nerdy. As several of the tomes are floating in the air, opening and closing, as if unseen specters are reading them and moving on. The pages turn slowly with each book, and the tomes seem to place themselves back and be pulled out again. There is a soft, palpable sense of magic in the air, and almost as if it is electrifying with a current that presses itself directly into your hearts. Ahead, the statue of the wizard holds open a great stone tome, which even from here you can see magical writing emanating and glowing. The door affixed behind him seems to also be somewhat cracked and broken, as if something on the other side has been pounding against it. Ah. Uh. All right, guys, be careful. There's spooks inside. Maybe that might be uh dangerous. Uh oh. It's obviously sealed for a reason, so maybe we should have asked for the reason. Yeah. As we slowly walk in. Go check out that statue, Tank. Yeah, which way do you want to go? <laughs> like, which aisle? I don't know. Up to you. All right. <laughs> Walks across the bookcase. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be a bad idea, to be honest. Nothing seems to happen as you approach the wizard statue. In front of it, you can see a strange book. On a floating pedestal. Whoa. That's a strange book. What on a floating that? pedestal. I inspect it. Alright, investigation checks, everyone. Oh. Whoops, got it. I investigated the frick out of that. All right. The book contains writing that almost seems like a diary entry. But what you actually are able to depict, that this isn't a diary entry of one person, but rather seems to be the collective thoughts of those that have come before. They have been captured and placed upon the page. Some of them are wondrous. Uh, some of them are thoughts of fear. Some of them are thoughts of anticipation. But as you approach the book, no thoughts are printed. The pages are blank. And instead, in their place, is the symbol of the Aiden. You see the Aiden slowly begin to crack upon the page. And when it shatters, the page containing the symbol is torn up into a million pieces. The next page Ominous. of the book is blank. Perfect. 
perhaps foretelling the future if we don't stop the Aiden. Cryptic metaphor. Cryptic Very metaphor. Cryptic. Can I investigate the statue? You can. The statue is, as I said before, that depicting of the Archon, the highest station that someone of the Taladani can reach. But there is something else odd about it. The clothing depicted on the statue is rather tame and, well, not illustrious at all. Perhaps if you could get to the larger book, you could find out more. Alas, the statue is some 30 feet tall. Snap. Who's good at climbing? I mean, I could. Climb up that statue, bro. You sure it's a good idea? We got nothing else to do. Alright. Acrobatics? Athletics? Acrobatics. Yeah! <clears throat> Anuccio anime runs straight up the statue and lands <laughs> gracefully atop the book's pages, or the stone book's pages. And there you see written the following. Four shall come to face the spire. Four shall ascend and time is dire. Of the four, one shall fall. Uh, and one shall be the savior of them all. Uh, I'll read that out to them. Cryptic metaphor. <laughs> I wonder what that means. Uh, can I look at the wall behind the statue? You can. Is there anything of note? There's nothing there. The door itself that's affixed to the statue is above the statue, so it's like 35 oh. feet off the ground. Can I reach it from where I'm at? Easily. You just climb up the head. Alright, well, I guess I'll put down a rope and have the others come up. Alright. Guess we climb the rope then. Oh, yeah. buddy. Is the door openable? One at a time. Uh, yes, the door is openable. But as you open it, you see... Okay, how can I... Oh, man, I gotta describe this correctly. Um, the door is buckled towards you as if something was banging against it. I believe that's concave or convex. Which one of those is it? I'm pretty convex. sure it's con convex. Okay. It is buckled towards you and cracked. The door doesn't so much open as kind of falls apart when you do open it. You're basically holding the doorknob as the rest of the door falls away. Oh. On the other side, the hallway opens, and you can see this is not nearly as pristine. There are markings of overgrowth as well as cracks, as if the magical seal over this complex has been broken. Uh, you can see that there is evidence of water damage and of the elements in general. And on the other side, the door is closed, but is also floating in space. And the stone seems to be kind of collapsed in on itself. But it does appear to be a way ahead. Sweet. Get your asses up here. Let's right. get on up there, brother. <laughs> yeah. What's this? All right. When you approach this door, you can hear and feel the presence of magic, a soft arcane humming, and a powerful underlying bass of pulse, or pulsing bass, excuse me. I'm rock hard. <laughs> With enthusiasm to continue. Alright. Can I open this door? You can, for lack of a better word. 
you can open it. As you press your hands against the door and give it even the slightest bit of pressure, the door opens, quotations, as it sort of blows back from your touch. And on the other side... <laughs> but what is so funny? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm 12. Okay. I'm trying to describe like a pressurized thing. Yeah. Without just saying it, because you're medieval characters. All right. And I will reveal to you what you see on the other side. Will I go to the bathroom real quick? And boop. On the other side, you see this. Be right back. What the fuck? Holy shit, bro. Uh. Uh. Expanse. Uh. Oh, shit. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 oh! Try not to fall. Or else we will die. Smile. Lost forever. What if it's zero grav, bro? That'd still be bad. Have you seen the space movies? Every time they go off into space, it's always scary. Yeah. There's always that danger of just floating in space for eternity. I want that. Because, you know, vacuum of space, your eyes explode. Maybe that's how the guy lost his eyes, bro. How did he lose them? We found them, like, someplace else. We should have asked him. <laughs> how did you lose your eyes? It was, like, way down. I tripped. Can't even keep his eyes. How can he keep all the books? Disappointment. So, Woku. Yes, sir. Are you still infatuated with Inuchi? <laughs> I was going to say infatuated too. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a weird madness. That yeah. means that means you're going to follow her around for the rest of your life trying to get just Get that coochie. Yeah. Because you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cursed, bro. It's, it's whatever, bro. Cursed to get that coochie. You just, just gotta get that coochie, bro. She's not gonna give you the coochie. Coochie's too hard to get, bro. <laughs> Can't 
God damn it. Wait, didn't wasn't shiny, shiny. Yeah. Wasn't your like first character uh, that you wanted to be a gnome barter? Yeah. <laughs> we played the cl- clap tar. Yeah, the clap tar. No, damn it! I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I'm ready to die. I've got some music changes. I'm ready to fly. And by fly, I mean falling with style. To avoid. All right. So... As you walk on the other side of the door, you see that the a pocket dimensional rift swirls in front of you. You can see the astral sea given form, shifting, unpredictable, crushing forces can be seen changing the rock, tearing it to pieces of whatever building must have once been here. But even in this state, you can see that they seem to leave, to, seem to lead in a particular direction. They kind of swirl upwards, going up further and further of the tower. Or, excuse me, of the spire. The gravitational shifts, as you study them carefully, you see that the rocks seem to depict that there is gravity around each and every individual piece, leading you to believe that with sufficient skill, you could leap from one to the other, but flying would be nearly impossible. Shit. Well, this can't be too hard. Let's get going, boy. Uh. <laughs> I'll take the first leap. All right, where would you like to leap? Uh, right here. Okay, acrobatics check. Yeah. You leap out, and you land easily. Come on, boys. Uh-huh. Uh, you guys got rope left? Just jump, forehead. <laughs> I don't trust Dirk's rolls. Ah! Okay. Clyde, as you leap, you miss your fall. Uh, you fall into the astral sea. Uh. What? Uh... He's gone. Wait, what? <laughs> Just as the prophecy foretold. <laughs> Unfortunate. You take 19 points of damage as you land over here. Where? Oh. Hello. What's oh. up, dude? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Shortcut, Hello! by the way. I can't believe Clyde's fucking actually dead. <laughs> I'm not dead. Dead, 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 dead. Hey, you fall into the plane of fire. No! <laughs> <laughs> not again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who else would like to try and jump into the astral sea? Uh, no. uh Woku? Do you have any rope, dirt? I don't want you to fall. If you fall, at least you can like, dangle, and no. I can pull you up. I don't have rope. Then I guess I'm jumping. 
to a. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, that. There. Can't just Star keep roll. jumping. It's too dangerous. Acrobatics. Acrobatics to jump. Where are you jumping? Uh, right, right there, or on that rock. Is close. I can't really get on it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and set you guys off uh, the grid because you guys are going to be doing some oh, some cool. gridless some gridless things. All right, you successfully make it to that tiny oh little God. rock, Woku. I'm off the grid. All right, Drek. They're Dirk. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try to jump towards Nietzsche. Nietzsche, please try to catch me if I don't make it. I'm ready. <laughs> Dirk leaps over Nuccio and lands gracefully next to her. Pog. <laughs> See, just jump, dude. You'll be fine. Anuccio! All right, I'm going to take another leap over to this direction. Okay, make your roll. <sighs> Holy shit! Hey! Easy jump. Clyde! Uh, seems like a pretty big gap, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna sit here and wait till uh, help arrives. Good idea. Alright, in that case, Woku! I'm gonna hop all, hop all over here, bro. Give me the acrobatics check. Nice job, brother! Dirk. I'm gonna jump when you jump. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh. Ooh. Holy shit. You guys are just some leapfrogs. Alright. Anuccio. Hop, skip, and a jump, baby. Whoa! Woku. Can I can I jump to what whatever this is? Like looks like a this? Yep, you can jump to that, yep. Alright. <laughs> Look at this. You successfully jump, and as you jump to it, it begins to slowly turn in space vertically, and yet you are standing there just fine, as if gravity is shifting with it. It is Whoa. a surreal Whoa. experience. I'm getting very sick. Anuccio. That's a wall, uh, by the way. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I'll jump to here. All right, give it the leap. Hop, hop, hop. Man, nailed it, Dirk. Uh, jump there. Uh huh. Uh. Ha ha. Another ah! Where is he gonna go? <laughs> to hell! Oh boy! <laughs> Ow. Uh! Nice shortcut. This All is right. dangerous. <laughs> okay, Anuccio. Moving on. Oh, oh, hey, oh. This looks sturdy. What is this? No, that does not look sturdy at all. It is slowly crumbling apart. Uh. Uh. uh hmm. I guess next best bet is to go this way. How far is this gap? It's about. Oh god. That's a 20 foot gap. Is 
is pretty close. Guess I'll make a quick hop over to this. Yeah! Huh! Huh! Easy yeah. clap. Alright. Woku! Uh... You know this pillar or whatever I'm standing on? Yeah. It, it's moving within the plane, right? Yep. Is Work there a way like I could this. propel it? <laughs> no. Not <laughs> that you possess. That'd be, That'd be sick. <laughs> what if I just smack the bottom end with my hammer? Yeah. You would break it apart and <laughs> fall, probably. Ah. Alright. He's gonna take a running jump. Okay. To this part. Alright. Acrobatics again. Yep. Huh. Oh. Ah. oh. Eighteen damage for a head. <laughs> Dirk. Um. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll try jumping to uh, here. Can I catch him? Oh my god! No! <laughs> You smash into this weakened part of the structure. You take 10 points of damage, Dirk. And the structure is destroyed and you fall again. What? Oh my god. Oh no! This is bad. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Blah! He's back. Jesus Christ. Is he dead? <laughs> All right. Dirk is unconscious as he smashes into this rock. Awesome. Brilliant. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Woku, holy shit. Really big oof. Wait, don't you have Feverfall? No. How do I measure again, Arcane? Uh, you... Oh, the measuring tool. You go up to the top left corner. You can go to, um... Interaction tools. And you want to go over to the one that shows looks like a ruler. It's the last one on the right. Next to the second pointer tool. Like, to the pointer thing. Yeah, thank you. Not a problem. Alright, Woku, how are you gonna... Un undead Dirk. Uh, I'm gonna Kiss jump to Dirk mouth. and then grab one of his potions off of his unconscious body. <laughs> Alright. Give him the jump. Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> this place sucks. <laughs> Oh. Right. I guess I, I'm on my way back. I have to make a running jump. Is it is it difficult for the paths between me, Arcadum? Hold on. Jump back. Resolving Woku. Where am I? Splat! Where I am. All right, go ahead, Clyde. All right. So if I try to jump back, it, since it's like this big distance, is that way harder to make? The longer the distance, the harder it is. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go for the one underneath me, south. Okay. I'm make a running jump. Yeah! Uh, just barely. <laughs> 
I'm coming, Drek. Dirk. Dirk, make me a death saving throw. The death check? Yep. Sorry, I said saving throw, it's a death check. Oh no! One failure! Inuchio! Alright, I'm sprinting over to him. Give me the sprint! Give me the leap! Ah, leap! Oh, so good! Can All I right. keep going or no? Yeah, you can keep running. That's as far as you get, though. Stay with me, Dirk! Woku! Um... <laughs> I'm gonna try to progress. To um... <laughs> see if maybe there's a better solution at those tables over there. I'm just gonna hop over to this one. Alright, well first stand up. Yeah. I forgot how to turn, it's been like two weeks. Oh, you're gambler born. Uh -oh. Hold on. You're, oh, yeah. Are you gambler born, Dirk? Yeah. Oh, God, that means that counts as a natural one for you. Oh, no, you have two death save. You have two death save failures. Oh, also, I fell. Oh. Now, <laughs> 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 Anubis is going to be like, God, just fuck me. <laughs> This place fucking sucks. This is how they died. Fucking falling rocks. <laughs> Woku hits this rock and is unconscious. Where am I? Oh, <laughs> great. Alright, can I make a jump? Yep! I'm gonna attempt to jump here. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, it's a small gap! I can make that with a five, right? Ah! Right? Splat! <coughs> Ow. Okay. Uh, what can I cast? <laughs> do, what do I cast? Well, before we get to that, Inuchio, in the last chance before Drac has to make another save, which he could potentially do. die. Oh, finally. I'm going to try to stabilize him. All right. Do you have any potions? I know he has one. Yeah, I'm going to take one off his belt. All right. Which you potions do you have, Dirk? Um, I think just two regular healing potions. All right. 2D, 2D4 plus two. Dirk, I have wondrous news! Yeah? You're healed for ten! Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, 22. Because he was negative 12. Uh -huh. Hey, Tiff. I'm alive. Alright. You are alive. You are no longer the dead. All right. All right, that's uh, your turn next, Dirk. What would you like to do? Uh, I don't know what the distance is here, so I'm gonna. I say we we cool it for a second. 
let me go ahead and see if there's like an easier way. Yeah. What if we hold hands and jump in together? <laughs> what if we just combine our jump checks? We can do that if we hold hands, right? Easy. <laughs> yes and no. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you going to go help Anubis? He's <laughs> <Just> bleeding out <laughs> over there. Stay here. I can't jump. All right, you're staying All there? All right. In that case, Woku, make me a de uh, death check. Oh, he Just passed. Stuck. Falling. Clyde, he passed. it's your turn. Oh, God. <sighs> I pray upon you, Seven. Please. Let me make this sprinting jump! Yep! Ooh! Oh! Ah, a flash of light as the seven guide your steps. Whee! You land next to Woku. With such force, he pops into the air and you catch his body. Like a what? princess. I hold Woku, princess style. And I press my hand <laughs> against his face. <laughs> And I cast Spare the Dying. And you ask ever so softly, Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> Mr. Krabs. That heals him, right? No, that stops him from... He oh, automatically oh, passes oh, his death oh, check. Okay, okay. Anything else? Uh... That was my action. I yell out, we need to group up so we can heal more effectively th together. Inuchio. Yes. It's your turn. I'm going to do a, a bunch of jumps. I'm going to tell everybody to stay put so I can just go. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just go? Yeah, go ahead. If everyone's waiting. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. No, this is just my strategy to get placed more forward than I was. Easy. Takes 50 damage. <laughs> Dies instantly. <laughs> Where'd you go? I'm over here. I see it. There you go. <laughs> Boy, that was sure unfortunate. I'm gonna uh. drink one of my healing potions. <laughs> Good old half health McRanger. 2d4 plus 2, right? Dirk, do you think you can come closer so I can cast Prayer of Healing on the three of us? Um, This poor room is harassing us. <laughs> Fuck you, gravity! Nah, it should be fine. Hop! <laughs> <laughs> I can't! <laughs> This room. <laughs> this is the worst. Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> god. Hit. All right, Inuccio slams into the rock next to. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's not yeah. moving. If you could stabilize, I'm gonna try to jump to the center platform and get all three of us. Uh, can he do that? If he, if he is there, is that enough range? It just has to be within 30 feet. <clears throat> yeah, if he makes it to the middle, he can heal everybody. I'm gonna give him my inspiration for the jump. Ooh. All right, Clyde. 
Right. You're inspired by Dirk. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. <laughs> you carry the hopes of us all, little hobbit. Ooh. You land in the center. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> oh, I'll do, donkey. That'll do. All right. I begin to cast Prayer of Healing using my third level slot. Cool. We'll come back to you. <laughs> uh, Woku is stabilized. Anuchio, make me a death check. Okay. Would you like to do anything, Dirk? Nope. Okay. You're casting. You're unconscious. Anuchio, make me a death check. Wait, another one? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's, shit. Can you stabilize it, Dirk? All right. Dirk, would you like to do anything? How long does it take? It takes one minute to cast, which is what? ten death checks. What? Uh, oh, shit. Uh, Clyde, you... I mean, if I cancel, does this waste the slot? Yeah. Like, Oh, fuck. Um, uh, okay. I'll, I can try to jump, but it's like a roll. Probably be wait, dead. Wait, don't I still have inspiration too? Can I give inspiration back to Drek? Do you? Yeah, I remember you, you uh, gave me the blessing of the seven or whatever. I had the respect. Or whatever. Feels bad, man. <laughs> All right. I keep forgetting to use my inspiration. Fuck. <sighs> <laughs> it's, it's face down. Fuck. <laughs> I keep forgetting to All right. use it. Um, Gonna jump now to Nuccio. All right, let's see you do it. Oh man, I hope you have inspiration. <laughs> Clyde gave it to me. You sure do. You better roll again. Believe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Woo! That's risky. Alright, I could just stabilize. You have to make a medicine check to do that, unless you have a magic ability. I'll just, I'll just give him my potion. Alright. Give him the potion. 2d4 plus 2. <laughs> Believe. <laughs> it's a magic word. There you go. Ooh, all right. Let me go and heal Nuccio, who is a minus three, so that means a big spicy 12. Ah. Uh, mama. All right, now we can wait for the spell to finish. Yeah. Yeah. Roll those prayer of healing dice. 3d8 plus four. Ah. Uh. Okay. Bloop, 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 bloop. Begin to cast it again. Okay. Roll again. Roll it. Yep. I'll use my last level three slot. Did we hang in to that oh. um, climbing gear? The big roll. Well, who was carrying it? I don't know if I we thought, ever gave I thought that. we were all capturing our own. We were all carrying our own climbing gear. Does that have a grappling hook by chance? It does. Huh. <laughs> I pull out my grappling hey! hook. Hey! <laughs> Look at that! I don't know, God climbing gear. And I throw it to, uh, here. Okay. After I stand up. After I stand my drunk ass up. Thinking. Alright. Whoop! Sorry about that. Now. Does it sink in, or like, do I have to roll for it, or? 
Uh, make a... I believe it's part of a check. Uh, you're fine. You can make an acrobatics check now. Hoppa. And then can I throw the gra grappling hook to the next one? Does it just give us like a bonus? <clears throat> okay, so what it does is, is it allows you to fail more than once before you fall. Ah, gotcha. All so right. basically, you only fall if you fail twice. Okay. Uh, so then you can I'll go ahead and you can go ahead and move forward. I'm uh, ordering food real quick. Yeah. So go ahead, guys. I'll just continue. Uh, I, uh, can you help? I don't us have out? a climbing gear. Oh no! <laughs> just wait here. I'm gonna go look ahead. Okay. We'll wait here. Oh, thank God for that fucking grappling hook. <laughs> Sometimes I just kick back and I just, I just watch. That's <laughs> what I do, dude. It's fifteen pass. Yeah, twelve, uh, thirteen or higher passes. Oh my God. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm throwing my grappling hook for all these. Hmm. Okay, this one's closer, so I'm gonna go here. <laughs> all right, this is the next one. Okay. All right, and when you get to here, you see a library. Or not a library, excuse me, a laboratory. There's got to be something here we can use. I'll take a look around. What do I see? All right, make me any, an investigation check. Any floaty boy potions? <laughs> any floaty boy potions? Any potions that say, please don't make us have to deal with that anymore? <laughs> <laughs> please no more, Mr. Arcadum. I swear we had a potion that already did that. All right, as you investigate the laboratory, you notice that there are alchemical ingredients floating in the air everywhere. Magic is is basically shooting off in all directions, but you do see uh, two things. First, you do see a strange set of potions that aren't floating. They seem to be in lead bottles. There are four of them. How convenient. Yoink. Yoink. Uh, but you also see something here. Mm hmm. What's this? All right. Oh, well. Uh, this is very much an oh, well moment because I'm about to fucking drop a steaming pile of lore right on your face. Oh, well. Okay. These three orbs show a couple of different things. First, the orb on the left. It's kind of irradiated, and you don't really see anything, and it's like um, it's like something is staining the glass. The middle, though, reveals something very strange. You see a dungeon, and an image keeps playing itself over and over and over again. You see a portal, and you also see a strange set of diodes... And you see a minotaur reaching out through space and selecting a point in an enormous map of stars. The image replays over and over and over again. Uh, the minotaur has brown horns and seems to carry himself uh, like a righteous fighter. Hmm. And the orb... On the right, you can see the two realms connecting and the symbol of the Aiden. The Aiden seems to be surging between these two points. Your world and the world selected by the Minotaur. Can I, do I have knowledge of what that world is? 
Uh, that world has a name that you are able to read, and it says Seric Storm. So that's the world they're trying to link our realm to. Correct. And now it goes even further, because you can see that the orbs have been corrupted by a presence as there is a sickness on the glass. And there you see the symbol of one of the Black Pantheon, one of the Dark Gods. Oh boy. Oh, lock in high. Whoa. Oh. Hmm. I better get the rest of the guys over here. Anything yeah. else of note in this area? Nothing. Besides those lead bottle potions? <clears throat> Nothing else other than the lead bottle potions. All right. I'm going to grab those and... Is there going to be a duration on these, I assume? There is, but you don't know what it is. Exactly, so I think I'll just... Uh... Hold on, I have music to play as soon as you drink one of them. I'm not going to drink mine yet. I'm going to wait to get to the other guys. Oh. Because I don't want to, like, I don't want to, like, fair, use mine there. Fair, fair, all right. And, like, have it run out. <laughs> okay, let me, let me, uh. <clears throat> uh okay. Throwing my grappling hook and jumping across. Uh. Okay. Huh. Gentlemen, I bring good news and potions yeah. that will potentially help us get across these gaps. Are they the strongest Whoa. potions? Here you go, Drek. I'm gonna toss oh, him God. one. Wait. Can I toss it to him? You know that you don't think tossing it would be a very good idea, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tie it to the the grappling hook and then grappling hook it across. Okay. Then he'll pick that one up. I'll jump across to Clyde. Hand one to Clyde, and then I'll grappling hook one over to Woku. All right, let's find out what these things do. Okay. Clyde. Oh, jeez. That's an arcana check for the uh, push. Mm -hmm. Nah, just drink it. Well, we just figured out how to open this this Okay, this I'm going to make an arcana check. Uh, okay, I'm drinking it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, stop! Stop! Man. Jesus Christ! <laughs> the Arcana check. The, the Arcana check reveals that these are potions. And you don't know what they do. Wow. <laughs> oh, guys, that oh, yeah. feels too good. Alright, as you drink the potions, you feel your bodies become heavy. And that the gravity does not affect you. And that you can easily hop through the astral sea to each of these connecting points. Time to chug. Alright, everybody chug up. Let's go. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah. I got some magic for you. I got some yeah. music for you guys. Yeah. Wait, yeah. music. Yeah. 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 Whoa. Wait, yeah. The music. Whoa, stop cheating. Whoa. Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna hit you with that blue shell. Yeah. Uh, huh. yeah. Wait. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. This music is great. Huh. Yep. Yo. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, big one. Here we go. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. 
All right, the potions fade as you uh. approach this large door. Now, the doorway is crumbled, as in you can feel constant pulses of magic pressing against you. Uh. Knock, knock. I place my hands upon the stone. All right, do you do anything else? Nah. Well, I try to push it open, but... All right, as you push the door open... On the other side, you see this. That's disgusting. What the fuck? You see a strange antechamber coursing with magic and a statue of a radio edit sitting in the center of the room. This radio edit possesses all sorts of magic forming from its eyes. Its large eye is transfixed to the area above and its mouth is wide open. There is magic flowing in a central pillar from this symbol, which you believe will lead you to the final wing of the Aiden. Oh shit, partners. You guys ready? Yes. We all rested? Yes. Have we had a long rest before this? We j I did use a lot of spell heal up. You're right. Is it? Is there a way we could take a long rest right now, Arcado? You can take a long rest in here if you think it's safe. If you think it's safe. Should we try? Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Probably. <laughs> 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 this, dude. No, you can. That's it's just... I mean, go ahead. <laughs> oh, it's a statue, right? Yeah, it's a statue. I don't, I the don't... longest rest. <laughs> All right. Scared party member sounds. All right. <clears throat> As you begin to rest, you feel that your bodies uh, begin to rejuvenate. The arcane fonts in the area uh, restore any lost magic any exhaustion that you might have, and it seems the room itself is attempting to help repair that which is lost. So potent are the restorative properties of the Aiden that they are able to use the restorative magics of the plane in which the Aiden is trying to combine with your world. And as it just so happens, due to a series of coincidences that I am proud to tell you about, one of the key factors of Seric Storm is that there is no disease or decay. Wow. And as such, Inuchio has her full hit points restored. Oh! Yeah! Fuck! Nice. Thank God. I'm ready, boys. Let's ride. All right. <clears throat> so, uh... As your long rest is completed, uh, there's a few things that we got to go over. All right. <clears throat> Make sure that everything on your character sheet is right. Um, that you have all of your uh, all of your consumables tracked and prepared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, 
And let's see, it's 7.35. So what we're probably going to do is, is um, you guys actually made it through that pretty quickly. Um, <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> so we are about to face the final wing. Uh, the final wing, um, once it's completed, will mean the end of the campaign, and then we'll enter an epilogue. Uh, but the final fight is coming up, and it's a very serious encounter. So I need to make sure that everybody has all their stuff ready, and that whenever we meet next time, that we can finish it in one sitting. Uh, oh, we, hell yeah. So I want to make sure that we try and finish it in one sitting. So I will probably call it here, um, because I want Thank to make you. sure that nobody forgets about abilities and shit, because this next mm -hmm. fight is a real one. So, at this point, uh, <clears throat> you should know that I will be less helpful. The enemy that you face will have my cunning, and I will try to destroy you. And it's going to be up to you what, you, what you've learned, what you can study, and what you can remember. I will save you. Okay. So, so, our next session is the ninth. Is everyone able to show up for that? Is there anything that I need to know about for that, that day? Sounds good to me. Is I'm scared of good? dying. I don't know if I might show up yeah. on the ninth. <laughs> so we're... What, shiny? I'm scared of dying. I don't know if I want. If I don't show up, or kid <laughs> can't kill me. <laughs> it's true. All right. In that case, um, just so you guys know that the the, um, the final encounter is pretty long. And I want us to try and finish as much of it in one setting, at least um, the phases in the prop in the appropriate setting. So there's a very our campaign has about one to two, maybe three sessions left, depending on how we do things. Okay. Alrighty, just letting everybody know. Alrighty. Alrighty. Well, there you go. Alrighty then, partners. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Get everybody nice and lined up. I hope you guys are ready for a fat session. Oh, I'm ready. You should stand next to your girlfriend. <laughs> Take a long look, lads. Uh, this was session 14, by the way. 14 Ooh. weeks, gentlemen. Has that really been 14 mm -hmm. sessions? Yeah. Holy shit. 14 sessions. Uh, next session will be 15, and so 15 or 16, we're probably going to finish. I can't wait for all of us to die. And then play a new game. It's going to be good. Alrighty. Real good. Let me go ahead and save everything. And we'll pick it up next time. At the beginning of the Stage of Wonder. Alright. Now it is time for me to rest. Rest. This is good times. Very good times. Well, I'm going to dip out right now then because uh, I got to drive. So I'll catch oh, you guys See you later, buddy. Week. Drive yeah, safe. Thank driving? you for the yeah. session. Beep, beep. No problem, man. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <sighs> All right. All right, chat. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Ha-ha-ha. Ha-ha-ha-ha. Hey, Drek. Uh, what?